Um, Mo. Yes, sir. Before we go on, I want to talk about the hiccup miracle. <laughs> All right, because, <laughs> because most people don't know this trick, okay? And I have been using it my entire life, and I know I remember exactly where I learned it, and it has never, ever failed me. If you... I hate getting hiccups. Oh, I mean, course. I think I am probably more annoyed by hiccups than the the average person. I don't know what it is about them. I, you get disproportionately like annoyed. angry, and, and they hurt me yes. also, right? So Mo was on our party bus on the way back from our holiday party, and we're all partying and we're singing, we're being stupid, right? And I noticed that Mo's not in on it, and that is unusual, especially because that Queen song came on, which we taught you years ago. Yep, it absolutely. was time to shine, bro. That was my moment. <laughs> yep, and you were not into it. <laughs> no, I've I've always had an issue with hiccups. I don't know what it is. Like I get them, I feel like way more frequently than most. And like Bert said, they hurt, and it's it's always at a horrible time too. Like at the, the part of the night when everybody's having a good time, I'm always <laughs> sitting there struggling with hiccups. And there's been times I've literally had hiccups for like hours. Like I I just can't oh, get rid of it, and I don't know what to do. And everybody has always had some kind of trick. Like, no, you got to do this. You got to hold your nose. You got to not breathe. You got to just drink it all at one time. That's what I saw you doing from across the bus is that he is crushing um, waters. I mean, literally crushing them in his hand while he has his fingers and he is <laughs> plugging his nose, trying to get rid of these hiccups. And they're not going away. Bottle after bottle after bottle. <laughs> and I, I did not know what to do at this point. And then finally, Bert looks up. And then you tell me about this trick that you have learned. Yes. Which is go ahead to put a knife to your forehead and drink the water. Half the, half the glass. Half the glass. A, a knife? A, a knife. knife. How yeah. are you placing the knife on your forehead? Well, I, first I ask, is there anybody in here that has a pocket knife? And was it Messy Mikey that had one? Yeah. So, because yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm guessing he just gutted a deer on the way to the party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he throws me the pocket knife, and I give it to Mo, and Mo puts the blade on his head, but the flat part okay. of the blade, the blade, blade, blade away from me on his forehead. So you're okay? not putting the pointy part on your forehead. That's you're just, what you're supposed supposed to do. It won't work if you don't put the sharp part on your forehead. Uh, so he puts the flat part and he drinks the water. It doesn't work. And it I'm like, work. dude, you did it wrong. Yep. So, so he tell me to turn it around yep. and put the actual blade to my forehead on a moving bus. Oh, geez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad idea. It's bumpy <laughs> and everything. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not doing that, bro. There's no way I'm doing that. And then I hiccuped again. It was like, all right, we ain't got nothing to lose here. And I did it. I put the I put the pointy part to my forehead. I was scared to death, and I drank the water. Gone instantly. I mean, like like that. Is my it own. is it because you're so fearful of a blade being uh, against your forehead that you are so hyper focused on it? That's the only thing I can think of. That is the only the thing. It has. When I say to you, it has worked with. I'll I'll say ninety nine point nine percent. Of the time, because I can't remember the one-tenth of a percent, but I don't ever remember anybody doing it and it not working. I, I've never heard of that trick. I've tried what I thought was everything. There's times <laughs> I've even gone to sleep because I couldn't figure out how to get rid of my hiccups and woke up with them. It's that bad. <laughs> and for some reason, he tells me this trick, and I did not think it was going to work, and it worked immediately. I, I was really shocked. This is something that my my half-brother taught me when I was like eight years old. And it worked. And it has never failed me since. So if you want to try it the next time you have um, hiccups, you usually have a glass. And what you need to do is put, like, the steak knife. Butter knife? Nah. Because I think you have to focus so much on it being sharp. It's like a steak knife, and you press it against the inside of the water. So that's where the handle of the knife is. But the blade has to be on your forehead. And then with your other hand, you drink the water while the blade is on your forehead. And I am telling you, half a glass in, the damn hiccups are gone. They were gone. I mean, instantly. Like, we all, <laughs> my favorite part was how everybody paused <laughs> yeah. for a few seconds to see if I was going to hiccup again. And then, like, when we all realized enough time had passed, everybody. He erupted his <laughs> Most bad. Let's party. I'm telling you, man, it's incredible. I should do a TikTok on it because I'm telling you, it you never, ever fails. If you want to know why it works, it's most likely because pain and stuff like that stimulates your vagus nerve, and that can stop your diaphragm from freezing up for the hiccups. Hey, okay. That could be it. I don't know. It might be something deeper, but that's what I've pieced together. Okay. The Burt Show.